Hello, YouTube. I just wanted to share my thoughts about Doom 2 Electric Boogaloo, or as some people are calling it, Doom Eternal. Uh, I was camping over the weekend, and I had didn't have any internet, so I didn't get to see the, the big reveal until after I came back on Monday, and uh, I got to see everybody else's reaction video to it which uh, was kind of mixed, I guess. Um, and I pretty much share a lot of the same sentiment. As far as the game, uh, as far as the new Doom Eternal game, uh, from what I saw, it looked really badass. I mean, I love the aesthetic they chose for the new demons, especially like the Mancubus, and even like the, the lowly little simple zombies. I thought they looked, you know, way cooler than... Uh, the zombies, uh, I guess the undead, you know, in Doom 2016, uh, they just look so much more sinister and menacing and demonic. Uh, so whoever did the model, the modeling for, uh, for the demons in the new Doom, my hat's off to them because they made them look way more sinister, I thought. So I thought that they just look fantastic. And also just like the the whole world building, you know, just the the hell on earth where you're in a city and it's just it looks like a scene out of John Carpenter's The Thing, where it's just this biomatter all over the place, like consuming buildings, and you see like these weird Giger esque shapes of just weird uh um you know, fleshy substances growing on buildings with teeth and eyes and it's just so creepy and cool i mean i just love the world building and the weapons look sick the <laughs> the weapons look great so f from everything i saw from the the i guess we're calling it doom 5 uh from the doom eternal trailer i thought that game looked badass honestly uh and of course i got to address the elephant in the room that there's not going to be a snap map feature in the new Doom Eternal game. I was a little disappointed by that at first. I was kind of hoping that they would keep that going because, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of snap map. But I guess Bethesda wants to wash their hands of it. Not surprising, really, because, you know, the way they sort of dropped, uh, they stopped supporting it over the last year or so. I guess that was a pretty strong indication that they weren't too concerned about keeping it. You know, they didn't even help us out when the game started crapping on us PS4 users. You know, ask ask Taylorhead and, and, and myself and some other people like who were exclusively on PS4 what we had to go through. It's still not fixed, I don't think. I just happened to pick up a cheap copy for Xbox, but... Uh, yeah, no snap map. That's that's definitely a bummer. A lot of people are not uh, reacting <laughs> very happily to that. And I can understand, you know, snap map is the whole reason why I got Doom 2016 to begin with. Because um, I'm just really big into content creation. And uh, there's, there's just something about snap map where... You know, someone famously described it as a Fisher Price dev kit, and I think that's you know the perfect way to describe it uh, because there's just so much you can do with it. It's such an excellent creativity tool, where you know you can just whatever's in your imagination, you can just bring it to life and share it, and it was oh, it's just a whole lot of fun, and I'm gonna be a little bit bummed out that they're not carrying it forward, but. To all those people out there who are, you know, upset or angry about Bethesda not keeping Snap Map, I would just say this. You're always going to have the Snap Map in Doom 2016. Whatever Bethesda does with Doom going forward, that's not going to take anything away from what Snap Map is, has been, and could be in the future. You know, it's just like, you know, is 
it's like just like when uh, a, a new movie comes out for a franchise that you really love, and and it doesn't meet your expectations. Like I'm a huge Aliens fan, but they haven't made a good Aliens movie in like 30 years. <laughs> but does that mean I I don't like the original? you know aliens movie no i watch it every year so it doesn't matter how many bad movies they make in the future i i'm still i still always have the old 1986 james cameron one i can go back and watch anytime i like same thing for music you know new uh album comes out from a band you really dig and uh it sounds nothing like their last album that you love but you'll always have the thing in the past that was good and that's what I think about the new Doom. It's like, uh, you know, it doesn't have Snap Map, but we'll always have Snap Map, and at least we have it, right? I mean, we could have just as easily not gotten it in the first place, and then we wouldn't know, we wouldn't even be upset about the new Doom not having it, because we wouldn't have known about it in the first place. So I'm just grateful we had Snap Map to begin with. And I'm not, I'm not upset they decided not to ki carry it going forward, you know. Uh, they're, they, they don't, ex you know, Bethesda is a company, right? And, you know, they got to make that money to keep the lights on and to, to do what's best for them. And they made a decision. Sometimes you just got to make a call. Maybe it was the wrong call. I feel like Snap Map, uh, you know, I got a lot of enjoyment out of it, but maybe a lot of people didn't. Maybe... A lot of people thought it was just a weird, quirky thing that was just more of a novelty than anything else. But, you know, uh, I'm here to prove them wrong. I feel like I got a lot of good Snap Maps in me still, and I'm going to do my part to to keep playing Snap Map. And, and uh, I don't know, you know, I'm, 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 just, I'm just here to, to play what I like, you know. But if you're really upset that, the new Doom doesn't have Snap Map, then, you know, you don't have to buy it. Or, you know, I, I personally, I want to play the new Doom because it looks pretty sweet. But I don't feel like I'm in a huge rush to do it because if it's a really good game, I don't need to buy it at launch. I can buy it, you know, <laughs> a year out from launch. Or whenever, whenever it goes on sale. And honestly, there's there's no chance my girlfriend's not going to buy me that game as a gift at some point. So I probably don't even have to worry about it. But uh, no, you know, if you're if you're really that upset about, you know, what Bethesda decided to do, then vote with your dollars. You know, vote with your wallet. Don't support the new game if you don't if you really don't want to. Um, you know, just just buy it used or just wait. You know. But personally, I think it looks. I think the new Doom looks badass, and I, I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing it. But I'm still having a lot of fun playing Snap Map too. So I'm perfectly content to keep playing Snap Map. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess there's uh, some people. There's a, someone actually started a petition on like MoveOn.org to uh, get a hundred signatures to. Uh, show Bethesda that there's all this support for Snap Map. And to all the people signing that petition, I say, bless your hearts. <laughs> but I don't think 100 signatures is uh, really going to make much of a difference. I think the best thing you can do if you're, if you're really concerned about showing your support for Snap Map, just, just stay enthused about Snap Map. Just keep making good maps, keep playing good maps, and, you know, if nothing else, the fact that there's a new Doom game coming out that will bring, it will create a resurgence of interest in the Doom franchise, maybe a lot of people who didn't know about Doom 2016 or never played it, maybe once they play Doom Eternal, they'll want more, and they might go back and they might buy Doom 2016. And then they might discover Snap Map for the first time and realize there's all these cool maps and they'll get into it. And maybe Snap Map will get a second wind from Doom Eternal. You know, so 
even if there's no snap map, it could work out for the best either way. You could see a bunch of newcomers showing up on the snap map scene. But personally, I mean, what I would ideally like to see is them come out with a standalone snap map game uh, that maybe would incorporate all the good uh, moms, all the good demons and weapons and props from the new Eternal game, plus all the old stuff, you know, uh, props and monsters from Doom 2016, even going back to the original Dooms, you know, because, like, when you make the classic maps, uh, it's still kind of weird, in my opinion, how you make the classic maps, but you still have, like, the 3D monsters you can't put in, uh, the two-dimensional sprites, like the original Doom levels. Uh, I really feel like what they need to do is come out with a standalone snap map title that just encompasses all the Doom games up until Eternal, and I think that would sell like crazy, and it shouldn't even be that hard for them to do, honestly, I wouldn't think. But uh, I totally be in, I'd totally buy that. I would much rather prefer them not to have Snap Map in Eternal if they have some sort of long-term plan to release a standalone game later on down the road. Because, you know, it's less loading time, less storage space. Maybe for the people, you know, it should exist for the people who really want it, but not have to be something that the people who don't want it have to deal with anyway, you know, with loading times and storage space and all that. But I think that's... That should be easy money, right, for Bethesda? I would think that just putting out a really advanced snap map tool would just be like low-hanging fruit. And I know I was I was hearing that they wanted to focus on putting out some sort of modder support or something like that to make it moddable, but it I guess it's only going to apply to the PC users. Uh, and I know there's arguments for that. People who didn't like snap map because it wasn't... Uh, in depth enough. Here's the thing. Here would I. Here's what I would say about that. Yeah, you could probably do a lot more with mods than you could with a snap map. But snap map, I thought the way the snap map was constructed, it was more user friendly to people who weren't really tech savvy. So a lot of us who don't have backgrounds in like coding or all the tech stuff, we were still able to have fun with a nice sandbox tool, a nice creativity tool like Snap Map, and it was just very user friendly and it and it got a lot of people uh into the whole level editor map building thing that otherwise you know wouldn't have been able to to participate. You know, people who always wanted to make their own maps but never had the knowledge or the skills of how to do it. Snap Map offered that to people because I tried learning unity in like C sharp and I realized after a few months of doing it that I just didn't have the time and a lot of people out there you know they just don't have the time to learn how to mod and and code and take advantage of all these uh, you know things that you would need to know how to do to be like a, you know some badass doom modder right so snap map I think was a great you know gateway for a lot a lot of people and it's just a shame that they kind of, you know, didn't, uh, they're not carrying that forward. But hey, uh, I'm still here. I ain't going nowhere. Snap Map, I'm still having a lot of fun with Snap Map. And I'm going to keep playing Snap Map. And you know what? When I get to the Doom Eternal can't, uh, game, I'll get to it. I'm not in a rush to get to it. I'm not going to buy it like on launch day like I did with 2016. Uh, because there's no editor, but I do look forward to playing it. It looks badass, and you know, like I said, to all the people who were disappointed about the snap map, you know, the things you love from the past will always be there in the past. You can always go back to the things you like. So, just don't be up, don't be too upset about the situation with Doom Eternal. It's going to be fine. It's going to work out. If anything, it should possibly give Snap Map a second wind if we can bring in some new people and there should be, you know, some more interest. So thanks for listening to this and until next time, peace out.